Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the third week of March, 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Basketball player Willis Reed died March 21, 2023, of heart failure at the age of 80. He was one of the New York Knicks' all-time greats, helping lead his team to victory in the NBA Finals in 1970 and 1973. Reed is being remembered as a seven-time All-Star, the first player with the Knicks to have his jersey retired, and a Basketball Hall of Famer. Singer Virginia Zayani died March 20, 2023, at a nursing home in West Palm Beach, Florida. She died after an extended cardiac respiratory illness at the age of 97. She was an operatic soprano from Transylvania who sang on some of the world's greatest stages, including La Scala and the Metropolitan Opera. Sayani is also being remembered as a respected voice teacher who mentored some of the leading sopranos of younger generations. Musician Clarence Fuzzy Haskins died March 17, 2023, after suffering a stroke last year at the age of 81. He was a founding member of the legendary funk group Parliament Funkadelic. Haskins is being remembered for his tenor voice, his drums and guitar, and his wild stage antics while performing with P-Funk and as a solo artist. Musician Fito Olivares died March 17, 2023, in Houston. He died of multiple myeloma at the age of 75. He was an award-winning Tejano saxophone player called the King of Cumbia Music by his fans and colleagues. Olivares is being remembered for songs including his iconic hits Juana La Cubana and El Cholesterol. Stage magician and actress Gloria Dea died March 18, 2023, in Las Vegas. She died of coronary artery disease at the age of 100. In 1941, she did a magic show at El Rancho Vegas, becoming the first magician ever to perform on the Las Vegas Strip. Dea is also being remembered as an actress who appeared in movies including Plan 9 from Outer Space and King of the Congo. Professional golfer Jim Faree died March 14, 2023, at the age of 91. After scoring one tournament win on the PGA Tour, Faree became better known for his many years on the Senior PGA Tour, later renamed PGA Tour Champions. He is being remembered as the model for the Senior PGA Tour's first logo, wearing his signature knickers and flat cap. Faree was a U.S. Army veteran who served in the 1950s. Dancer Stuart Hodes died March 15, 2023, at a hospital in New York City at the age of 98. He danced with Martha Graham in productions including her acclaimed ballet, Appalachian Spring. He is also being remembered for his choreography and for continuing to dance on stage well into his 90s. Hodes was a U.S. Army Air Forces veteran who flew bombing missions in World War II. Athlete Dot Wilkinson died March 18, 2023, in Phoenix at the age of 101. She was a softball legend, known for her career with the Phoenix Ramblers, that lasted more than 30 years and earned her a place in the National Softball Hall of Fame. Also a Hall of Fame bowler, Wilkinson is being remembered as the first woman ever inducted into the Arizona Sports Hall of Fame. Woodstock icon Bobby Erkeline died March 18, 2023, at her home in Orange County, New York. She died of leukemia at the age of 73. She became a symbol of a generation when a photo of her and her future husband, embracing while wrapped in a blanket, was featured on the cover of the Woodstock soundtrack album. Erkeline is also being remembered for her long career as an elementary school nurse and her work to support the families in her school.
Actor Lance Reddick died March 17, 2023 at his home in Los Angeles. He died of natural causes at the age of 60. He was known for a wide variety of TV and movie performances, including starring roles in The Wire and the John Wick series of movies. Reddick is also being remembered for roles in Fringe, Lost, American Horror Story Coven, and many more. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of former Senator Ron Rice. Flags in Maine have been lowered to honor the memory of Holden Police Chief and former State Representative Chris Greeley. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of Herman Police Detective Sergeant Mason Evans Griffith. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of Montford Point Marine Tommy Lee Durama Sr. Flags in Vermont have been lowered to honor the three-year anniversary of Vermont's first confirmed COVID-19 fatality. Flags in Florida have been lowered to honor the memory of Second Judicial Circuit Judge Kevin J. Carroll. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Ten years ago this week, author Chinua Achebe died at the age of 82. His influential novels include Things Fall Apart. Fifteen years ago this week, author Arthur C. Clarke died at the age of 90. His award-winning books include Rendezvous with Rama and 2001 A Space Odyssey. Comedian and actor Louis Anderson was born 70 years ago this week. He died in 2022 at the age of 68. He was known for TV shows including The Louis Show, Baskets, and the cartoon Life with Louis. TV host Fred Rogers was born 95 years ago this week. He died in 2003 at the age of 74. His show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, was beloved by generations of children for its gentle and kind messages. Actor and mime artist Marcel Marceau was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2007 at the age of 84. His stage persona, Bip the Clown, helped make him the world's most famous mime. Musician Marion McPartland was born 105 years ago this week. She died in 2013 at the age of 95. She was a jazz pianist and the longtime host of the popular NPR show, Marion McPartland's Piano Jazz. Author Louis L'Amour was born 115 years ago this week. He died in 1988 at the age of 80. His many Western novels include The Daybreakers and The Ferguson Rifle. Lawman Wyatt Earp was born 175 years ago this week. He died in 1929 at the age of 80. He was one of the legendary figures of the Old West, known for incidents including the gunfight at the O.K. Corral. There are many more celebrity anniversaries this week, and we pay tribute to them in our new Tuesday video series, Death Anniversaries and Birthdays. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.